Merhaba from Istanbul. We got here last night and um, we just came from the underground cistern and uh, we're waiting for Christine. She's going to get her eyebrows threaded. So we're just hanging out. Um, had some good food last night. We'll probably um, see a show with belly dancing and live music tonight. And yeah, we'll catch up with you later going to the Grand Star in the Hagia Sophia. Design and different colors, same quality. It's pretty nice one. Mm -hmm. Now we are inside the Hagia Sophia and I'm going to give you a few interesting facts about this building. It was originally built as an Orthodox Basilica, then it was converted into a Roman Catholic Cathedral, and then finally it was converted into a mosque and that is why you can see remnants of uh, Christian mosaics in this mosque. And there we have um, the Virgin Mary and baby Jesus. And also the Hagia Sophia is most famously known for its dome, which at the time was a state-of-the-art Byzantine architecture. And this dome is said to have changed the history of architecture forever. And um, the Hagia Sophia was also the largest cathedral in the world for a thousand years before the cathedral in Sevilla, Spain was built. And I fortunately got to see that as well. Here's Melissa in Aya Sophia. I don't know what's going on. Standing outside the walls of Iznik in Turkey, which was formerly known as Nicaea, and that's where um, the council was held to decide the basis of the uh, Roman Catholic religion. And we just came from the church over there, and um, I think we're on our way out. Dad, what was the church that we were at? 
uh, Hagia Sophia, just like the one mm -hmm. in Istanbul, uh, or Hagia Sophia. Uh -huh. That was the um, the old uh, church, Christian church. That's where the ecumenical council was held. Which number? And, well, there were seven. He said the guides had seven councils in um, Nicaea, mm -hmm. is Isnik, and those councils were to uh, determine the dogma or the the faith of the Christian faith. What uh, to debate the meaning of the faith and what it meant and what Jesus Christ meant. So. Mm -hmm. That's what it were, the ecumenical council. This is called the Skander Kebab and it is the kebab of kebabs. We've got meat, yogurt, tomatoes, and bread underneath, and tomato sauce and butter on top. And my Fanta. This is my apple tea, which is also known as the tourist tea, but I don't care. It tastes really good. And she has Turkish tea, but it's gone. Entering the Topkapi Palace, which was built by the Sultan who conquered Constantinople. And there's the tulips. Because many people think that tulips were from the Dutch. Holland. Yes, the Dutch. The niche Holland. But in reality, it was introduced to Holland by the Turks. So we are here on the palace grounds. That's the harem over there. We're gonna go into that later. And there's the front gate. of the Blue Mosque and we're gonna go inside and check it out.
not quite sure what's going on right now. But there's the obelisk. <laughs> I guess there's someone famous over there. It's the president. I don't Atatürk. Know. Atatürk died. <laughs> of what the city streets used to be down below like this. Sure you can. Anyway, so there's five 